Hello and welcome back. Have you ever wonder how to automatically create a task in planner every time a new page is created inside OneNote section? I will explain in this video how to achieve this. So let's get started. How to set up this seamless integration We will harness the power of Power Automate to streamline your workflow and keep everyone on the same page. So let's dive in and get started. I have a shape and site here which is site A. If I click on the notebook on this site, so I have a pretty empty notebook here with one section and the section contain one welcome page. So I want to create a task in planner whenever I create a new page under this section. Now let's move on to Power Automate where we will configure this process. So I will go to Power Automate. Here I will click on New Flow and then I will select Automated Cloud Flow. I will give this flow a name. I will call it Create Task for OneNote Pages. And the trigger for this flow will be when a new page is created in a section inside OneNote Business. So that will be our trigger. I will click on Create. First thing I need to do is I need to provide the parameters for the OneNote. So if I click on this trigger, if you're not connected, you can connect it or change the connection if you want to use a different account. So I will select this notebook key drop down. It will show me all the notebooks present in this environment. I can search for one as well. So I can see mine is sitting on a site A notebook. So I will select that notebook. Notebook section. So inside my notebook, I had one section which is called section one. So I will select that section. So the trigger for this flow is whenever inside this notebook, in this particular section, a new page is created. So we are done with the trigger. Next thing we'll do is we'll create a task in planner. So if I click on the nine dots here and then I will click on the planner application. If I go to project X, I can see a plan is created for project X, but I want all those one node pages task created inside this project X plan. So let's move back to Power Automate. I will click on the plus sign, add an action. I will search for create a task. So inside planner, we will use create a task action. So first, we will need to provide the group ID, which is your planner project name. So R was project X. So I will select that. And then we will provide the plan ID. The plan ID is same as the project ID. That's the plan name. And then we need to say what is the title of this task. I will add the task title as new page to review. And then what we can do is we can add some dynamic value. So if I click on this sign, I can add the page title. So this is the page title of the OneNote page. If I click on show more, I can see the bucket ID, which bucket you want to add into and the other thing. So let me select a bucket, which is to do bucket. And let's not fill anything else here. One thing I need to do is I need to add a URL of that OneNote page. So if someone coming from the planet, they can see which page it is and then they can navigate to that page. But when you create a task, you can't update the description. So to do that, I will click on the plus sign, add an action. I will search for update task. So we need to select update task details. So we can add the link URL of the OneNote page to this task detail section. The ID of that task, we're going to enter a custom value because the ID we need to retrieve from this create a task action. So enter custom value. And then I will select this icon to select the task ID. So I will click on see more. And then here we can see the ID of the task. I will select that. And in the description field, we can add the URL of the OneNote page. So I can just say here, the link to OneNote page is here. And then I can click on this button here and I will click on see more under when a new page is created in a section for OneNote. Click see more and then I will add OneNote web URL. So if you want them to open this OneNote in the web, you can provide the web URL or you can provide a client URL if they are opening in the Windows client. So I will provide the OneNote web URL. So that's it. So flow is ready. So whenever a new page is created under that section one of OneNote, it will create a task and it will update the task detail and add a link to that OneNote page. So whenever someone go to the task, they know this task is belong to this OneNote page. You can do some further actions in the flow as well. You can send someone email or you can post a message in Microsoft Teams to let them know that this task is created for this OneNote page. But I will 
keep this simple and I will click on save for now. Okay, so the flow is ready now. If I go to this back button to go to the flow detail page. So the flow is ready, it is on. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to test this flow by creating a page in the section one of that one node. So I will go to the one node, section one. I will right click on it and click on plus page. So I've created a page, I've given a page a title, add project X description here. So that's the title of that page. So we're asking people to add the description of this project whenever they get a task in the planner. So I've done that. I will now wait for the flow to be triggered. So from my experience, I've seen there's some delay in triggering the one node trigger from the Power Automate flow. So sometime it triggers in the 30 seconds, sometime it triggers like after five minutes. So you have to be patient. I will come back to the video once the flow is triggered and I will show you the results. Okay, so the final flow have run successfully. It took around eight minutes to run this flow. So you have to be patient when you're running this flow. It might take some time to trigger the flow. I've actually created another page in one node. So that's why you're seeing two run history here. But the one which we're running for, if I click on this run history, we can see the flow ran successfully. It has created a task and it has added the title of that task in here. And then if we go to the description, it has also created a description in the planner. So if I go to the Project X planner, I refresh this page. I can see a new task is created, which is new page to review and the add project X description here. That was the title of the OneNote page. And this is the link to that page. So if I copy this link here and then I paste it in the web, I can see it is straightway taking me to the OneNote page of the section one. So hopefully now you understand how easy it is to create a task in Planner every time a new page is created inside OneNote section. Thank you very much for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as I upload new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding this topic or anything related to Microsoft 365 technologies, put them in the comment section below. I'll review the comments on a daily basis. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.